Yo, what is up, guys? It is your boy, Louis Strecker here, back with another amazing video here for tier ranking of the Linkin Park songs. Yes, I have uploaded so far Hybrid Fury, Meteora. I'm actually gonna say it right this time, but after going for editing the videos, <laughs> I realized I was, I was incorrectly pronouncing, uh, the, I was saying Matora, and I know that's not right, and Meteora, my bad. Just gonna say that right now. <laughs> and we also gone for Minutes to Midnight and also Thousand Suns. So, you know what's next. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing one more light next. Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to the living things next. So if you guys have got to run down of these videos, basically how it goes is I'm not a musical genius, but I'm still giving my opinions, and we rank these from uh, S all the way like from F, and we'll be going in album order. And yeah, like I said in the videos, like I'll say it again that I'm not a musical genius, so I'm not gonna all like the musical kind of like elements that would like really make like the song like really good. But, like all I could do is just from like what I know like on um, music wise, which is very basic knowledge. I'm just gonna talk about the things that I like about the songs and. And yeah, where I think it's gonna be placed. And yeah, if you have your own ranking of these songs, make sure to go put them down in the comment section below. And if you yeah, if you disagree with any of my like song picks, you can like uh, tell me why. But try to tell me like, in a nice, polite manner. If I realize you're just being absolutely rude, I'm just gonna completely ignore your comment. But I'd be more than willing to hear your comment though if you like address like why you think my opinion is wrong, and I should show the song more respect. Okay. And also you can tell me reasons why like you like some of these songs because I'm definitely gonna be asking that why in some of these songs like um later on. Because actually before I did this video I listened to two songs in particular and when, when we get to them I'll tell you why. Um, I listened to them again because like I, I barely listen to the songs anymore because I just don't like them so they're, they're not in my music place on my phone. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this uh, T ranking video started. So we start off with a really strong opener and Lost in the Echo. Now I was kind of like thinking about it and. Personally, there's not really a whole lot of songs in this album that I actually would really consider S tier. I think there's really only two songs that I consider S tier, and actually, Lost in the Echo is not one of those that I would actually consider S tier. But I think it's pretty high in A tier, though. No, not in D tier. I just have to, I have to scroll up massively, so I'll just put in D if I have, to, I have to put in D for the time being and then move it up. Anyway, that's beside the point. But Lost in the Echo, I think, like, does. It's definitely like a really good opener, like for for the album, and it gives like a different kind of like like style of Lincoln Park, but it still kind of feels like Lincoln Lincoln Park. And Mike has some like really good like rapping, like in the beginning of the song, and Chester comes in very smooth, and you get a really nice like um Chester like um screaming part like in the bridge, and then Mike goes completely off like after like the Chester screaming part, and it's freaking sick. I love that part like so much. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to understand what Mike's saying, but you know, that's kind of like it's a lot of the times, like, you know, Mike's rapping. We kind of like uh, to, to expect this at this point, that some lyrics might not be the easiest to understand. But besides that, the music is very, very unique, but I think it still kind of like feels like that Linkin Park kind of like vibe. And Mike Chester did a great job, and the whole instrumentation in general in the song I think was really good. And like I said, super strong opener to the Living Things album. Like, definitely if you haven't heard that song yet, yeah, there's a good music video for it too. And the music video is a little. A little bit confused, kind of like what the music video is kind of like messages about. If you want to like, uh, any of y'all want to know like actually the message of music videos, you can tell me in the comment comments below. But I'm sure it fits for its reason, <laughs> as a reason for fitting. So in my remains, um, I think you guys are a little bit coming come as a surprise for you guys, but I think I'm gonna be putting uh in my remains in a rank because I personally like. I mean like. There's not really, like, too many fans, like, out there of this song, but I personally think this is a very, like, well-put-together song. And it's mostly Chester singing. There is, like, a mic part, like, at the end, but, like, it's mostly Chester, though, and I appreciate those songs that are mostly Chester or just completely, like, on Chester. And But Mike has a really good part, like, in the bridge. Like, I always love, a, like, an army falling one by one by one part. That one, that, that part of the song is so good. I always, like, love singing it, expe like, at the top of my lungs, especially, like, when Chester comes in, like, in that bridge. And the chorus for the song also is, like, really catchy. I love love singing the chorus like a lot like very good chorus very good verses just everything about the song like i think is really well put together and music i mean music is like um musically wise i think they did a, like a uh, overall like a pretty dang like um good job good job of the song but there's definitely one song in this album that definitely does the, the, the instrumentation to a whole nother level and then the singing into a whole nother level and i'm sure y'all know what song is next if you know the living things uh, order by this point mm -hmm. is correct it is uh, burn it down yes Burn It Down definitely has to be our first S tier rank up for, for this uh, ranking video. And like, it, it shows, like, the music is like really catchy. Like, with the like, ba -da bam 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 ba do 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 ba do do. Like, that, like, like, it just hooks you, like, in the beginning. And it's so good. And then when those, like, guitars start, like, like revving in, sounding, like, really good, like, hyping up, like, the song even further. And then just Chester coming in with, like, such clear vocals as always. Like, we can never complain about Chester's clear vocals. And he sings that chorus, like, so, like, um, strongly. And I just love the lyrics, like, in the song in general. They're, like, all really fun lyrics, like, those thing. The music is so much, like, fun to listen to. And even having, like, a little mic rapping part, like, at, at the end of the song is not bad at all. I mean, like, I think it actually, like, helps with the song, like, too. It gives it 
like a little bit more interesting like flair to it like I like, go like a little bit of a different direction for like a little bit part like in the song and I think that is definitely like very clever um so overall like I can see why like it's like popular because I feel like like it literally sounds like a song that definitely like you know deserves 300 million views and you know it has 300, 300 million views on YouTube and it's a fun music video like to watch too I love like the music video for for burn it down because it just looks like the band is just having like so much like um fun and then like starts like with them actually going on fire and stuff like that like later on in the video <laughs> yeah anytime like that song comes on I can never like um like sometimes it's just hard for me not to like you know head bop a little bit just because it is like a very head bop <laughs> inducing song I'm sure you all can definitely agree with me on that one <laughs> so we got lies and lies green misery I was about to say lies and misery it's not that's not what the song name is called you dingus so lies green misery like uh, another one that actually you guys might be surprised by but like from this song like for some reason for a while i remember like when i've been bike riding about my campus so um the song just kept appearing in my shuffle over and over again and i'm just like why do you keep making this song appear in my shuffle over again but because of that the song kept growing on me more and more and more and now i think i'm gonna be putting it in my a ring too yeah another song probably weren't expecting to go in like it's an a ring but i personally like but, but, but besides from like you know the campus thing like um like me listening around to campus and it growing on me eventually i didn't really like this song like at first like when i was like starting to become like a lincoln park going fan but like so many lincoln park songs like the music the singing and the rapping it starts to get to me because like that's just how it is with lincoln park stuff like you can't just listen to it once you have to listen to it a couple of times for it to eventually start growing on you it's definitely the case for me because I, I really like how they do the interpretation of the song, and Chester, like, um, chorus, like, and it's, like, it's, like, a lot of, like, energy. It sounds like, um, he's having fun, like, you know, like, um, singing it, um, and Mike has such, like, a really good flow that really, like, fits, like, with the music, too, and then, like, where it leads into, like, the bridge, and then builds up, and you get crazy Chester singing part, and the music just matches it, like, so well, and, oh my gosh, like, it, it, I mean, it's, it's not much as a bop, like, as Burn It Down is, but it, I can still see myself, like, you know, bopping my head to, like, this, like, um, song, especially maybe putting my putting those rock hands up and stuff like especially when that like big like scream part like comes around in the song so yeah definitely uh, a, a little bit of a hidden gem i mean like it definitely has like a lot of more fans than like some of these other songs do but i feel like it's definitely a song that's like a little bit un underrated in like a park's uh, catalog for sure <laughs> So, I'll be gone. Now, we're not going to keep up the trend of keeping things in the A and the S rank. It was bound to stop happening at some point, trust me. Um, I'll be gone. It's not a bad song or anything like that. Um, it's kind of like, you know, like I've said, with, like a lot of like those like in-between songs, like, like Valentine's um, Day or Figure Point, uh, Figure Zero Point, or Figure Point Zero Nine, or um, maybe like Runaway or something, or even like Robot Boy. It's kind of like just one of those like um, average kind of like Lincoln Park songs in there, but it's a full Chester singing song, so we can always appreciate, you know, full Chester singing songs, but... I think I'm gonna personally put this in C, but I think it actually would go around like in the high C range, um, though. I don't know, it's like, I, I, I do like, um, the, 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 I mean, like all Lincoln Park songs, like, you know, they have a lot of, like, um, good lyrics in them and everything, and I love, like, all, all these songs actually have pretty good lyrics in them. Even if sometimes I have no idea what the heck, like, they're even talking about, but, yeah, overall, this is definitely, like, one of, like, uh, Chester's more beautiful, like, um, I mean, it's not really, like, entirely, like, beautiful, but, like, it's more, like, I'm, like, uh, it's, it's more calmed, like, down, like, some of the, like, the other songs, like, in the album, though, but it's still got, like, that, like, little, like, flair to it, um, kind of, like, in the chorus, um, and also, like, a little bit, like, in the bridge as, as well, um, and, yeah, I mean, like, I don't really have too much else that I want to say, like, um, like, 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 a lot of these songs in this Living Things album, like, they do a really good job, like, in the instrumentation of them, I have nothing wrong with, like, the instrumentation, really good, and then I have nothing wrong about Chester singing, so, yeah. I'll just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so, Castle of Glass. Now, like I said, there were going to be two songs in this album that I was going to be putting in the S rank, and Castle of Glass has to be the other one that goes with the S rank. I mean, these are the two most popular songs in the album, and they're the most popular, like, songs in the album for a reason. The music video for, the, for Castle of Glass is phenomenal. Like... I, I, I couldn't think of like a better like music video like to really match like with, with the meaning of the song and everything of like the whole military like the little military guy like they're like the military people who go up to like um, somebody's like um, door and tells them like that their father did not make it out of war then that person like ends up grow, grows into like the person who kind of came out of his door and tells like another person that like their father isn't coming back like you know from war and like the, 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 the music video is so like amazingly put together I like so, so like the videos I like the song they're doing music videos so I'm, I'm gonna mention them like a little bit in these uh, tier ranking stuff because it's just like I love it like something I really love like um, another band that does this really well is Bad Flower um, but League of Park also does this incredibly well is like great music videos that attaches like um, to their songs like I feel like a good music video if you're gonna have like a popular like um, song like it should really match like with what they're going in the song and League of Park does that very well <laughs> Music video wise, the instrumentation of this song, like, actually, this is one of the songs too, like, um, Light's Green Misery. I actually didn't really like too much at first, but, 
of course. It ended up like really like getting getting on my favorites in the in Lincoln Park song so much in fact that like it ended up being in the S tier like um rank yep. Cause Mike like this is like some like because I know like Mike had some like beautiful singing like in ir iridescent for example but this is another like great example of like how Mike can actually like beautifully sing like it's not just Chester does like the beautiful singing I mean Chester has absolutely incredibly beautiful like um vocals like in in this song but. And, uh, like, I just love, like, the whole, like, because I'm only a crack in this castle of glass. <laughs> like, uh, that's so, like, metaphorically, like, um, like, me meaningful, and I, and, and I definitely, like, love it. Love it for that, for sure. And, and that's what the part I really like is, like, after, like, they go for, like, the soothing, like, um, like, of, like, first verses and then the chorus, they go into, like, the full beat drop, like, um, down, and, then, like, they, like, the song just absolutely starts becoming a banger, like, from, from there. Especially when they have, like, the whole instrumental, like, when Chester's, like, holding, like, that note, like, for you to see for, like, for, like, many, many seconds, like, um, straight, and the music just goes, like, crazy there, and then it builds, and then, like, goes back down, and then it builds back up again. It's just, music and, and the instrumentation is done so incredibly well in that song definitely like I wish that Lincoln Park would not do the remix version of that of, of that song like in their concerts I mean it's not a bad version of the song but I personally think like they, they, they should do the original song some more justice because like oh my gosh it was so good for like what it was and they did for it <laughs> can't say enough about that I thought I'd be saying more than more for Burn It Down and Castle of Glass but just like a whole music video and everything and how the interpretation is like well done Burn It Down is pretty much just good because it has an absolute bop and banger music and great vocals from Chester and it's just one of those like good classic like Lincoln Park songs so not really much else to add to that. <laughs> All right, so victimized. This song sometimes randomly like comes up in my like um shuffle, and uh, sometimes like I end up skipping it. Sometimes I don't, cause it's actually one of like the shortest Lincoln Park songs like um out there. Besides a lot of instrumental tracks, I'm talking about actual like songs that has like vocals in it and stuff. And victimized, I'd probably say be um be behind. I'll be gone. I think that's a fair spot to put it. Um. I mean, Mike has some, like, a, a good rap in there, and I think this is actually one of, like, the last, like, Lincoln Park songs that we got, like, um, with, like, really, like, um, heavy, like, Chester singing. You can correct me if I'm wrong, if you think of, like, another song that has, like, some pretty heavy Chester singing, but, like, there was, like, some really, like, heavy screams that he was, like, um, doing in this song, and I personally wish they could have, like, extended, like, the length a little longer, because I think if they ended up actually extending the length of the song a little bit more, I probably actually would have ended up liking it. It probably would even be, like, in, like, B or B, B rank or, like, um, A rank, but no, the, the length of the song, like, wasn't really, like, extended. It was just, like, it was just the length that it was, and... I mean, don't get me wrong, I think, like, it was good for, like, just what it was, but I felt like the song would have had more, though, but really good with heavy Chester singing, and Mike does a great job of his, like, rapping parts in the song, and, yeah. Mm. Okay, <laughs> let's see, let's go into Roads Untraveled. Now, here's where, like, I'm pretty sure you guys probably mostly agree, I mean, probably you don't really agree with most of my opinion, you probably think, oh, no, Lost in the Arco should be in the S ring. So, my, my opinions have definitely been very subjective, <laughs> like, so far, and like I said, Say in the comments below if you, like, disagree with my, my opinions, but tell me why, so. And Rosa Traveled, you guys are probably going to find it interesting that I'm going to like this song more than these two. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm putting it in B rank. And like a lot of these other songs, I did not really like it at first. <laughs> just because, like, it just wasn't, like, used to, like, the Linkin Park style, like, I felt. Because I feel like back then, I was more, like, in, the, in their style. I mean, like, a lot of people were. Like, they were used, like, to the style of, um like, Meteora and, um, Hybrid Fury, but once you kind of, like, you know, get out of that, like, um, style, and you, like, really appreciate, like, the music, and, like, the, you know, like, the, like, instrumentation and musical work of, like, other songs, I feel like you can appreciate it more, and, and that's what I did, and I appreciated this song, actually, a lot more. Like, it has such, like, interesting music, like, backing up, but I don't know what it is about it, but I just like it so much. It's so, like, um, good, and it could just get stuck in my head. It's just so interesting. It's just, it's just it's such like, an interesting sound, like, unique to, like, to some, from any of their, like, um, songs, and Mike, again, has freaking smooth as Ferk, like, vocals, like, and then I love, like, how he does the, like, whoa, 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 part, part in the chorus. And then eventually, like, when Chester comes in, like, later, like, in the bridge, and they combine both of their vocals together. Oh, my gosh. It's so glorious. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a glorious day when you hear, like, those two, like, singing, like, uh, beautifully together. And it's done, like, so incredibly um, well. So, <laughs> But yeah, I hope some of you guys can agree with me, like on like how like beautiful like they like the other this song. And I have like I have a soft spot for some good like uh, good old beautiful Linkin Park songs, and I definitely have a soft soft spot for that one. So yeah, Rose and Traveled, B rank for sure. All right, Skin to Bone. Now here's what I was talking about in the introduction of the video. There's gonna be two songs that I didn't really like too much, and those songs are Skin to Bone and Until It Breaks. And also there's not really too many people who are fans of it, but those are the two songs I'm curious to see why any of y'all like on the song. Now, Skin to Bone, I don't think actually is as bad as Until It Breaks, so, but it's gonna go into 
D rank, though. Yeah. Someone at least has, like, a song in each and I, each and individual of the ranks. I don't want, like, any rank, like, to be, like, unfilled. Because I would technically put it in F, but I actually think there was, like, some, like... I feel like that song was actually, like, um, tolerable. Like, the instrumentation, like, I think is just very bland. Like, the mic, like, the vocals part is just, like, okay. Not really, like, too crazy about it. And even, like, when Chester comes in, I'm actually, like... I'm surprised to say this, but, like, he doesn't really add too much, like, to the song, because he sounds very much like how Mike was singing. I mean, like, the music interpretation kind of, like, goes up, like, a little bit, like, in this song. It sounds a little bit different, but it just kind of keeps, like, the same sound throughout the song. There wasn't really too much, like, creativity, like, with Skin to Bone, um, but... I feel like it, like, it, it, I, I could, like, tolerate it, though. That, that's the thing. But until it breaks, I just can't really tolerate that song at all. So, there's one song I'm going to be putting in F rank. I'm going to be putting until it breaks into the, into the F rank. Um, just because, like, even though, like, it's kind of cool, like, to see Brad actually, like, um, singing, like, in the song, like, a little bit, and, like, um, it's have, like, three different singers in the song, like, Mike, Brad, and Chester, but Mike's parts are just, abs I, I, I mean, like I said, this is my opinion, you could agree with me if I'm wrong, uh, if, if you think I'm wrong, you can, like, disagree with me if you think I'm wrong, I'm not sure why I said agree with me if you think I'm wrong, I'm sure, I'm not sure why you would agree with me if you think I'm wrong, besides the point, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, I personally think Mike's parts are actually garbage in this song, like, his, his rapping flow is just very weird, like, in this song. Like, it just doesn't feel like a Mike kind of rapping flow to me. It feels like something, like, from a different, like, rapper. I don't know. And just, the I mean, in, in, instrumentation of that song is just very boring. <laughs> I don't really have, like, uh, anything, like, really positive to say about it. And Chester's part, like, it, it was, like, a little bit saving grace, like, in the song. But then it just goes to, like, but the, most of the song is just Mike's, like, really garbage part. Um, and, um, and then, like, later, Brad's part of it is just okay. It's not necessarily, like, garbage, but it, it, it doesn't really, like, add too much of the song for me, so it's definitely a song, if I was, like, listening to Living Things, like, album, like, all the way through, I would skip Skin to Bone and, and Until It Breaks. Maybe I wouldn't even skip Skin to Bone. I can actually tolerate that one, but Until It Breaks, I just can't really tolerate it, tolerate it at all. That's just me, though. Now, Tinfoil, um, I actually, like, um, so these three were the once in an MMA play playlist, and Tinfoil, I can actually tolerate, because it has a really good instrumentation, like, you know, leading up into Powerless, and I love, like, how, it, like, it perfectly leads, like, into, like, um, Powerless, like, it does such a good tra transitioning into power Powerless, and I'll definitely get into how much I love Powerless, Powerless is, like, a phenomenal ending to the album, at least in my personal opinion, and yeah, Tinfoil, like, I think it's definitely, like, um, in, in a D rank, I mean, it's just, like, an instrumental, like, there's nothing, like, too special about it, so it's definitely not gonna be better than, like, any, like, B songs, like, here, but it's definitely better than these two ones, um, though, because I'm, I'm a sucker for some good, uh, good, good, good instrumental, like, um, stuff, because, I mean, like, instrumental before, like, on the Catalyst, uh, Fallout, the instrumental before Numb, uh, Session, that was, like, really good, um, and even, like, uh, Journa del Mento was also, like, uh, I feel like a good leader into waiting, um, for the end, so, I'm a sucker for some good, like, um, instrumental tracks that I play, like, in Park, on, but, there are definitely some of the instrumental tracks, though, that I'm not really that much of a sucker for, and some songs I'm not a sucker for, like, these two! <laughs> Sorry, I'm ranting on those songs, <laughs> but yeah, the song I am definitely a huge lover for is Powerless, and Powerless is definitely going to be going in, hmm, do I think it's better than Lost in the Echo? I think I put it here. I don't think it's better than Lost in the Echo, but it's definitely, I feel like it's better than My Remains and Lies Greed, and Lies Greed Misery. Um, now, my reasoning for this is um, pretty interesting, because um, I don't know what it is about the instrumental, like, like with the piano and like um, the combined like, guitars like um, in there. The piano it like makes such a gorgeous sound and, and like I love like the little like um I don't really know like a, like I said I'm not a musical guy or anything like that but like the piano like whatever like sounds is like like added like along with it it just combines so well together and Chester has such amazing singing in this song that match like Lincoln Park does such a good job of, like matching like like great singing like with some good music and most of like in most of their songs and Powerless definitely is a great example of that and kind of like um, kind of like Castle of Glass like Powerless kind of starts off yeah this actually is a good example so it starts off like smooth smooth and like calm I mean like it's mostly like you know smooth like it has like really good smooth Chester singing but it really like builds up like with his like I'm singing later on in the song and like Castle of Glass also does like a great job of that um too and the, the music also like swells up even more and stuff like that it'll really match up like with like the change of like the song like um too. And like that, that like part like where he's doing like the whoa whoa ho, whoa ho ho like two like the one like where he's doing in the bridge and then like after he does like the chorus for the last time and then like ends the song like with that it's so gorgeous and I love like how he sings like the like um, powerless when he gives it like more emphasis like at the end, God such a good song like i hope there are some other people that highly agree with like what i have to say about like i'm powerless because oh i can't say like en en enough good things about powerless <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it for the living things album and i actually i think since i didn't get to do this in the thousand sons one i want to actually like um rank and talk about lincoln park's new divide song so i think for this ranking i'm actually gonna add new divide in there and if it's not obvious enough where i'm gonna be putting this song 
it has to be an S rank. I don't think it's better than Burn It Down, in my personal opinion, but it has to be, like, an S rank, though. Yeah, n New Divide, like, I have actually never seen the Transformers movie that it comes from. Maybe at some point I should go do it. I'm just not really have been interested in Transformers or anything like that, but what a song, like, they made for the movie. Like, I can definitely tell that was, like, the big hit from that movie. Like, I'm sure, like, some of the other songs also were probably good for the movie, too, but, like, that was, like, the main hit, like, in, in the movie, though. And Linkin Park made an absolutely outstanding song, like, for the Transformers movie. Like, it, it, it just fits with the Transformers, like, on um, vibe, like, too, in my opinion. And uh, and also, it, it just fits in the Linkin Park, like, on um, vibe, like, um, too. And it's also mostly Chester singing, like, uh, uh, no, it's actually a full-blown Chester singing song. There's no mic singing in it at all. Yeah, that's right. Um, so that already makes it, like, really good. It has a great music video for it, too, that's, like, really creative and really well done. Um, and, yeah, I think the instrumentation is definitely very unique, especially, like, I love the instrumentation that they do, like, on the bridge. Like, they literally just have, like, a full instrumental section there of, like, with just, like, crazy, like, unique kind of, like, music all combined together. And they do it so well, like, in a really good way. And then, like, Chester just comes banging back in. Oh, God. And Chester just has such great vocals, like, in that song, like, too. Like, New Divide was definitely, like, a top-tier, like, Lincoln Park song. I can see why it has over 500 million views on YouTube. Like, it deserves it for, like, how well done it was made. And, like... Like I said, perfectly, I think, matches the, you know, like, the, like, the Transformers vibes. Probably some of the other songs that were made from the movie fit, fit it, too, but I'm pretty sure like a part probably did the best job with that, though. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong with that, though. That's just my opinion. Even though I haven't even seen the movie, I can just predict that, like, they matched it, like, very well. <laughs> but, yeah, great instrumentation. Of course, great Chester, like, I'm singing. Great vocals. Love the lyrics and everything. So easy to get stuck in your head. Can't say enough good things about the divide. But, yeah, I can't say enough good things about, like, on um, this video because, I mean... I like my videos and everything, not to brag. My videos are pretty cool. But yeah, that we have reached the video. Thank you for watching all this all the way through. Just being a little bit cocky here at the end of my uh, video, aren't I? Yeah, just, uh, just, just, just a tad bit cocky. No, 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 a lot cocky. Anyways, yeah, that's besides the point. If you guys uh, like this ranking, make sure to go um, tell me, like, um, make sure to go leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to go also tell me, like, what you, um, like, what your rankings are for these um, songs as well. Because, like I said, as usual, I'm always, like, interested to hear what you guys have to say. Since we all have different opinions in this world, if we didn't, if we're, all, if we're all made to have, like, not different opinions, this world would be pretty boring. So I'm curious to see how you guys would rank these songs here. And, yeah, hopefully I have a video coming out for a hunting party before you know it. Yeah. Hopefully I'll have one for, like, the hunting party, like, um, soon. And, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you guys later in the next awesome video here on the Luigi Strikers channel. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye, Luigi Strikers. Strike it out. Goodbye, everybody.